How do you make a conscious decision? Is it just a matter of making sure you're going 100% as soon as you get going? Is that, is that it? Yeah, pretty much, you know. It's, uh, it's not always going 100%. That get you in trouble too. But, uh, you know, being uh, uh, a little more uh, conscientious of, of, you know, getting that first round. I saw a lot of people mentioning 135 pounds to you in the lead up to this fight. Where, where is that coming from? I don't know. I'll never walk away from this weight issue. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> well, you go to 135 and last right. year about flyaway. Right, right, yeah, is that know. an honest consideration, though? No, you know, not not right now. Not right now. You know, you never know what the future holds. Uh, I'm not even closing the door on 55. Who knows? How much pressure do you feel going into this fight, being that, you know, you had the last few, let's see, seven fights of yours, real title fights. Uh, is there more or less pressure for you going into this fight? You know, for me, the pressure I put on myself is always the same. You know, from my very first fight to my last fight, it all feels the same to me because I want to win them badly, you know. So, you know, when a title's on the line, it's, you know, obviously more implications for, you know, winning a belt and, and for the media and everything. But, you know, for me, it's, it's all the same. Give me some minority. Oh, go ahead. See, you've had some tough losses. So I'm curious, every time you go back to the gym after that, I mean, how do you... How do you wrap your mind around getting over what just happened, but feeling, in a way, you know, since, since a lot of people believe you won the fights, you know, how do you get past the heartbreak of that and, and continue to move forward? You know, I think it's just, uh, you know, like I said, losing's the worst. It sucks. It's disappointing, especially, you know, I worked very hard, and, you know, I'm, I go into fights believing I'm going to win. Um, you know, but I, I try to take out something positive, and I'm proud of my performances. You know, they were close fights. People say they go the way, but, you know, regardless of the loss, I was proud of, of how I showed up and how I fought. So based on the fights with Benson and with Jose Aldo, what do you what do you see that you are proud of? What do you think, you know what, I nailed that in that fight and I'm going to take that and move forward with that? I just think it's the things that we, we talked about in, in camp. You know, you got to watch this and you got to make sure you do this and how I listen to my coaches and just, just the toughness I show in fights. That's, that's what I'm proud of. That. And I've been asking everybody this, but since you're a person who's gotten many bonuses, how do you feel about the idea that fight, fight night bonuses might not be around? I didn't know that, so yeah, I, not, yeah. I don't feel very good about it. <laughs> well, they're saying in order to pay everybody more, maybe they'll remove the fight night bonuses. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I mean, you know, I, I think I, I don't know, quite a few fight of the nights, knockout of the night. Um, I like them fight bonuses. <laughs> what did you know about Oliveira? I mean, obviously, this is a guy that you probably weren't following his career, maybe the way you were some of your other opponents that were a little more high profile. I'm curious. What did you know about him uh, going in, and then how much studying did you do to, to, to familiarize yourself with him? And I, I, I remember when he first came in the scene, he had definitely a lot of hype. Uh, you know, he was at 55 while I was there, so, uh, you know, then we both dropped down to 45. Yeah, he, you know, um, what was the question again? Just how much you knew about him. <laughs> did you watch a lot of his fights? Were you familiar with his game? Or did yeah, you yeah, I'm familiar with, you know, watching him as, as a you know fight fan, and then, you know, as, as we found out that's, that was going to be my opponent. My coaches watch more than I do. I'm not a huge tape guy, but, you know, they'll force me to sit down and, and you know, dissect some things. But yeah, you know, I definitely, uh, I'm always prepared. And when you see him, he's all arms and legs, and he's going to have that advantage on you. So how do you make sure you don't eat too much stuff when you're trying to get inside and deliver your game? Yeah, you know, that's, that's part of the puzzle, you know what I mean? You got to make sure you get inside and, and, and not, you know, take damage in the process. But, uh, you know, yeah, that's that chess match. Would you say, you, well, I was going to say, would you say you spend extra time on jujitsu though, knowing that he's very strong in that element of the game? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been working my jiu-jitsu forever, you know, it's, uh, I know a lot of people, I've never, haven't got an opportunity to use it much in my last, you know, six, seven fights, probably since BJ, but, uh, you know, I prepared for guys that are, that are very good in jiu-jitsu before, and it's no different with Charles, you know, he's obviously a different game than maybe those guys, but, uh, you know, I have some great coaches behind me, and, uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm always prepared. So is there any frustration at all? I mean, this, he is a very long and tall guy for 145 pounds. You drop down division, and you're still facing, you know, game planning for a dude that's longer than you that's got reach. Is there any frustration when you're like, here we go again? You know, it's uh, not, not really, you know. I don't really pay attention to that stuff. And I'm, I'm, like you said, I, I've been fighting bigger guys, you know. This time he's not going to be as, as thick, though. You know what I mean? He's a little, little, little thinner, but, but <laughs> taller. <laughs> Not at all, man. That's why we do this. You know, I, I'm not a big attention seeker or you know a guy like that. But uh, how could you not love this? This is this is. Uh, I think every athlete's dream is, is to be on the biggest stage, showcasing their skills. Are you surprised that the rapid rise of the sport and how big it's getting? It just seems every fight just gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, you know, it's it's amazing what this UFC has done with this uh, with, with MMA in the past 20 years, and uh, just to look 
on to the next 20, uh, you know, who knows what happens. So after your fight, when you're sitting in the locker room, who's your pick, Weidman or Silver? You know, I've been getting this asked a lot, and Weidman's a friend of mine, um, East Coast boy. We train alongside at Henzo, so, you know, of course, i got to stick with my home. How good is he? I mean, this is the thing. that We all know he's good, and we haven't seen him in a year, though, and so in this year that we've not seen him, but you've had the ability to see him training, how much better has he gotten? How good is he these days? Yeah, he's, he's great. You know, he is. He's everything that, that the media is saying, that other fighters are saying. You know, he comes in here with confidence, puts it together, and anything happen. I know that you were saying, look, I'm tired of talking about whether I won a fight, whether I lost a fight, how the judges scored it, all that. What do you feel? I mean, is this like a fresh start for you? Is this a new beginning? Is this a new chapter? Or are you still right there, you know, trying to get back in contention? Where do you feel like you're at? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't look at that yet, really. Just look at the big picture. Like, this is my next fight. And, and you know, of course, title contention. That's what I want to get to. Um, I like being in a main event. I like fighting for titles, you know. Uh, I want to be the number one in, this, in my weight class. Does it, give you a little, does it give you a little bit of confidence that even though you have had the losses, that the UFC is still putting you in such a high-profile fight? You know, obviously, they have a lot of respect for you to put you in this position. Yeah, absolutely, you know, and uh, it's, it's nice to be, you know, recognized for, for the efforts I put in and uh, for the performances I put on. What did you take away from those last three fights with Benson and Jose that you're going to put into your game now, that you're going to apply into what you do in the future? Like I said, I, you know, I don't think there's too much I, I could really change. Uh, I, I, I think I, I performed well. Uh, maybe, like I said before, just come out the gate a little, little hotter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.